Statistics from the Pew Research Center indicate that the expansion of the undocumented immigrant population has stabilized after rapid growth from 1990 to 2006. However, the impact on American schools is being felt more than ever. Correspondent Shannon Bream explains. We are overwhelming our public schools today because we have irresponsible immigration policies. A new study shows the number of children of illegal immigrants now attending K-12 schools in the U.S. is growing. Those children now make up 6.8 percent of all students, up from 5.4 in 2003. And in five states, the number is now 10 percent or higher. These new statistics are reigniting an old debate. People often say illegal immigration is a victimless crime. Not true. It has a huge impact on the American infrastructure. Nowhere is that impact more pronounced than in American public education. It should always be one of our fiscal priorities to make sure that all children get an education and um, to make sure that immigrant children can fully contribute by making sure that they learn English fully. The same reasoning the Supreme Court used in the 1982 decision Plyler v. Doe that guaranteed illegal immigrant children the right to a public school education. Today, the court tackled a related issue springing from a school in Nogales, Arizona, a town near the U.S.-Mexico border. Since 1992, in a lawsuit launched by then-student Miriam Flores, the Arizona school system has faced allegations that it is not sufficiently funding programs for English language learner students, regardless of their immigration status. The dispute over how much taxpayer money should go to the programs finally arrived at the U.S. Supreme Court Monday. The courts are mandating that taxpayers pay more to provide education to people who, oughtn't, frankly, oughtn't be here in the first place. Immigrants, no matter what their status, are actually paying into our tax system as well. And so our tax money going into making sure that, that children get the education that they need is good for all of us. One of the demographers behind this new study told me this group of students will only continue to skyrocket. He estimates that next year alone, 300,000 children of illegal immigrants will enter the U.S. school system. In Washington, Shannon Bream, Fox News.